grew, grew up at, uh, on Walnut Street downtown. In 47, I uh, was born, came here in about 50 something, as we know the story of. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I saw a lot of uh, activism in the 60s for open housing, uh, urban renewal, which was urban removal. Negro removal. <laughs> yeah. And I really wanted to be a part of that, but for some reason my mom wouldn't allow me to, to go out and march. Now, what was the reasoning? My mother was very protective of me. You were her only child. I was her only child. Uh, but I witnessed it, and a lot of my schoolmates that I grew up with, and uh, from schoolmates, friends from Central High, uh, schoolmates from Shawnee, uh, were somewhat a part of those open housing movements, you know. And, mm -hmm. uh, but I had to watch from a distance. Okay. I had to watch from a distance. Then, when we got involved with the Episcopal Church, our priest. Your uh, family? Uh, my family mm -hmm. and, 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 and uh, Bernadette and I decided that we needed to find a church to raise our children in. And when St. George's Church, which was kind of closed up for some time and rebounded with uh, the late Charles Tackall, who was very much an advocate yes, of civil was. rights. Mm -hmm. Oh, that man was, you know. Uh, Charles Tackall many was a white, time, white activist. A white activist mm -hmm. and lived in the heart of the West End. Uh, would bail people out of jail. He would go to jail, <laughs> you know, various, various times he'd get locked up. And so the center, part of the center of the West End was part of that St. George's Episcopal Church, him being the, the, the vicar there and being very much an advocate of people's rights and uh, uh, homelessness and feeding the people. We had a Dare to Care Center, which we still do, uh, you know. So uh, that church had a heart, you might say, you know. Uh, and I was new to the Episcopate because I was Methodist, grew up in the uh, uh, Methodist AME Zion Broadway Temple. And again, I saw very, uh, uh, quite a lot of things uh, that evolved around the rights of people, civil rights, mm -hmm. within that church concept. Uh, you may know the name of Abby Clemens, Abby Clemens Jackson. And she would all, I'd, lo I'd love it when she would come to church on Sundays and talk about her outreach, uh, not only here in America, but in Africa, you know, she talked about that. You know. And I did a portrait of her, a big drawing that we, they honored her one year at church. And I was very fortunate to do it. She lived on Chestnut Street, didn't she? Lived she lived on Chestnut, yeah. She lived across Looks the like street all the, from where uh, I used to live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, May Street Kid. Next door to me. You know, these were all the people that I, I, I grew up under. You know, mm -hmm. May Street Kid, uh, Lawyer Anderson, and all the fighters of, 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 of civil rights, you know. Uh, uh, what's the uh, preacher's name? I'm trying to think of it. Uh, uh, Eubank, uh, uh, Reverend uh, Eubank, uh, Neville, uh, Tucker. Reverend uh, Bishop Tucker, mm -hmm. uh, his father, uh, all these people, you know, A.D. King, you know. So I was around it, but I actually wasn't really involved in it. My, my heart was there, but my mother said, if you go out there and march, I'm... <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I said, I got to go out there and do something, you know, mm -hmm. I got to go out there and do something. But... Uh, it was it, it was a it was a it was a different time. It was a it was a, it was a very intense time period.